Uh, it's Danny. Welcome to Regal's Town TV. And tonight you're going to be uh, my guinea pigs for a, a new segment on what we're going to call the lockdown games. And this is uh, how well do you know each other. For those people who are watching, uh, Ertz and Danny are, are quite well known to, to know each other quite well. Um, so we're just going to test them to see how, how well they actually know each other. Um, so, so they've each, uh, <laughs> and they've each given me five questions each and they want to ask the other person. I'm going to alternate it, take it in turns, um, and we'll see who knows each other better. So, Danny, we're going to start with you. Um, James's first question to you is, Danny, what, what is James Hurtley's favourite movie? Oh, my God. That's like asking him what colour underpants he's got on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh. Think outside the box, Rax. Outside the box? Yeah, I'm a bit soft, aren't I? A bit soft. Right. Are we happy? I'm ready. I've just gone for something random. Right, go on, Danny. What do you think? P.S. I love you. Close, mate. Really? No, it's not in Hill. Oh, same category though. A bit of romance. Yeah, lovely, lovely, romantic. <laughs> we'll t- we won't we won't talk about that again. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's an incorrect answer for you, Danny. James, Danny's first question to you is: What is Danny Racky's car plate registration? Oh, I should know this. Jesus Christ. Um, Do I need to write this down as well? Please, mate, yeah. This is going to make me look like a fool because I'll probably just put some random stuff you meant to have a number or letter. (laughs) Famous Reg, yes. Come on. I'm going for... T20, Racks. Oh! R20, Racks. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. Hey, I tell you what, you're not far off there. <laughs> wow. So that's, an, that's an incorrect answer for James Aitley. Nil-nil still Thanks, so James. far. Thanks, mate. Danny, James' second question to you is, who is James Hurtley's celebrity lookalike? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I don't know where I'm doing him a disservice here. Do you want me to tell you? I've gone, I've gone for a good one, so it's up to you, mate. <laughs> don't kill me here, though. Do not kill me. <laughs> <laughs> right, James Corden. Oh, oh, oh. I, t- I told you, didn't I? Oh, oh man. Oh. Not the Google man. You know mine anyway. Do you want me to go, go. demo? Yeah, go, mate, yeah. Ryan Gosling. Give over. <laughs> Definitely. Google it now. Right. If, if Ryan Gosling and James Corden had a baby, then maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ryan so Gosling. <laughs> I'm not... Right, that's going in group chat after this. <laughs> right, so that's an incorrect answer for, uh, for Danny. Right. Uh, Danny's second question to you is what was Danny Racky's nickname given to him by the Torquay United fans? Uh, you probably had long hair back then, so... Yeah, must, keep, keep yeah. thinking of that. Keep thinking of that. Yeah, he's going to like the name, basically. <laughs> Are you left-handed? I am left-handed, Daniel. See, you could have... I've got one. I've got, I've got, one got that set. wrong as well. Here's what do you think. The Yorkshire Pillow. You can have that. It was oh, the, it. the plain more Pillow. Oh, there you go. Got yeah, you can have that. that. We'll give him that. Right. So that's it's one. Yeah. Danny Racky nil so far. Okay. But if this comes to like a tiebreaker and end up, he technically got it wrong. But we'll it now. Right, Danny. It's just question number three to you is who is the best manager James Hurtley has played under, according to him? Oh, 
I'm, I'm actually going to have to say the gaffer now. Ah, I can't, you can't name a previous manager, it's, it's a killer. Depends on who's best, doesn't it? I'm going to go for Shelf's John Lister. That is my final answer. Damn it. It's just because you're best mate, and it's not Flint. Will Powell. Yeah, well, I, I did say that. <laughs> got it wrong, Jeff. You got it wrong. Yeah, Danny, you got it wrong, mate. No, I, I actually did say you've got to say the gaffer now. But then I just went safe and went for shelf. <laughs> that's it. It, incorrect, guys. It's still 1 0. Right, well, it, it's got my one wrong then, if that's how we're playing. <laughs> It's Danny's question number three to you is which player does Danny Racky say is a millionaire from playing bad touch tackle? Think think of the combos in, in our lads group chat. Ask me a question again, please, Demo. Which player does Danny Racky say is a millionaire from playing a bad touch tackle? There's someone I know that he doesn't really like. But <laughs> I imagine it, but yeah, I'll go for it. I'll try this. I don't know if it's right. Go on. on. Wayne Rooney. No. No, but he, he, he oh, I can't swear, can I? He? He's rubbish. I'm fat as well. But um, Lee Catamol. Oh, yeah, he does, actually. I just don't listen rack, sorry. I skipped <laughs> yeah. he, He's horrendous. He's, he, he is actually a millionaire from playing touch tackle. That's it. He can't play football. It's annoying. Oh, oh no, sorry. That one right, Danny. R- Rooney would have been my overrated. Right, Danny, so it's, it, it's still 1-0 to James Aitley. You need this one to get, get back in it, and I think oh, you will no. get it. Danny, question four. What is James Hartley's favourite alcoholic drink? Oh, my God. If you've ever heard Faz, take the mic. From the old days. And you might get it. Is it so much stupid? Give me a clue. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like stupid. A blue, it's not like a blue wicked or all of it. Maybe, but, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, it's not a blue wicked, but I'm close. Oh, you're pretty close, Dan. I'm, if you need your final, I'm gonna answer. go for a Smirnoff ice. No, mate, blue wicked. Oh my god, is it blue <laughs> wicked? Who do you care to you? Oh, well, that's kind of the same, isn't it? That's the yeah, same demo. You can have that demo. All it's right, one all, one all. Right, James, <laughs> Danny Rackett's question four is. Who did Danny Rackett miss a penalty against in the playoffs for Bury? I didn't think you got on pitch again for Bury, did you, Rack? <laughs> you... Only, only 50 times, lad, in league. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, come on, you, you used to come over and watch with Hannah a little bit. I thought I'd, I thought I'd throw a little Bury one in there. What do I have bad me about? Where are you at? Penalty. Bury. But at home, yeah. Yeah. Semi final at playoffs. Brought me on to Scott Penalty and I fluffed it. Who was it against? In live open play? No, a penalty shoot out, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Um, we, we'd, have got, we'd have gone to Wembley to put final, but I missed a pen. I'll say Northampton. No. Close, but no cigar. Who was it, Danny? Shrewsbury. Oh, I remember it actually. <laughs> right, so it's still one nil. Oh, sorry, it's one all in it. One all down to the last question. Yeah, yeah we've gone. We've gone a bit easy on each other, haven't we? With a couple of answers. Right, Danny. Time. James's last question to you is: Who is the best player James Hartley has played alongside, according to him? Got to be me, hasn't it? <laughs> Shock. I knew Got to be me. Oh my god! Bear in mind, we played on a cold Tuesday night in Pickering. For your first game back after retiring twice. <laughs> yeah, but you'd saw my diags, lad. <laughs> um, five aside, though we played five aside. Right, hold on then. I'm going to go for Sarge. Adam no. Wilson. 
No. No, mate. Ernst, oh. who is it? Aaron Martin. Oh, yeah. Arrogant town player. Just because of consistency. I mean, I played with a lot of footballers um, obviously come through big house while well, I've been here for 10 years and stuff. But him and obviously Racky are good playing that. But Nanny Dad, Danny Nardoli were good and Sarge was good. There's a lot to name a few. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even think of that, Aaron Martin. Yeah, good shout, that. Right, it is. This is to win it, if you can get it. Question five, and Danny's This eight. is easiest one as well. <laughs> I wanted to give you today, Rax, and none of questions are helping me. <laughs> what's, your name? Name? what's your kid's if you've, name? If you've, Googled, if you've Googled today, this one will be right in there. Right, uh, so la- last either. question is, what how we started Danny Racky stay in a hotel with that made the Sun newspaper headlines? <laughs> what a lucky lady. What is to win it as well? We were talking about it over there. <laughs> it's, not Amy it's not Amy Charles because she's on there now, but she's. You have to rush your words. It's not bloody camp down the road. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll have to pass. Oh, Chloe, oh, Chloe, is it Chloe? Maria Fowler. Oh, Maria Fowler. God's sake. Oh. Right, so... We're going to do a tie-break question for the winner. Oh. So, I, I need you to write this down, the answer that you're going to give. So... Oh. So, in our, in our last league game against Pontefract Collieries, Jack Boyle scored two goals for us to get the three points. I want, I want for his second goal, what minute did he score in? And the closest person wins. What Back minute? In this game, so. Oh, yeah, early one there. But I can still make a, I can make a guess. Closest, write your answer down, closest person wins. His second goal, what minute did he score in? Right. I'm... I'm ready. 51. Danny? 38. Oh, yeah, I'm going to look off foot. <laughs> Three. <laughs> it was up to the 39th minute. Oh, I'm going to yeah. say 38 as well. 39th. He were there. I'll tell you me. what. I always remember my assist, lad. <laughs> one actually made. I can't think of who it was. Yeah, um, I think it was Reagan, wasn't it? Ball came back. I just remember him slotting it in with his left. So that's it. Good finish. Danny's won the game 2 1. Well done, Danny. I yeah, win. Well done. It's a shock there, isn't it? <laughs> well done.